Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is August 19th, 2024. And the word of the Lord came to me, and this is what he said. The war between Israel and Iran. For this war is escalating. My beloved ones, get ready for the big one is about to happen between my people Israel and their enemies. Iran shall send a nuclear missile toward my land and try to destroy my chosen people. But little do they know I will intervene for my people. Israel shall be victorious and many shall perish on that day and hour on both sides but I shall save many also. I am the Lord thy God. I will come to save what is lost in Israel and bring them to my salvation. I, Jesus the Christ, shall bring my beloved chosen ones to my kingdom, and I will open their eyes and show them the truth about who they are in me. For the time is at hand when I will do all these things. Love, Yeshua HaMashiach, your King. And he also told me that it is in the book of what is lost until the scripture in Matthew 24, 14 is truly fulfilled. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. The Apostle Paul informs us that the tribulation will not commence until after the Antichrist is revealed in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3-4. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. The Bible and Christian eschatology do not explicitly specify or provide details about the Antichrist's origin. There are numerous speculations and predictions about this, remaining mere conjectures, as the Bible does not state his background. What we do know is that one day, the Antichrist will indeed be revealed, and we will recognize him by his opposition to and exaltation over everything associated with God. He will demand worship and claim to be God. In conclusion, I encourage you, dear friend, not to succumb to fear, but to embrace faith and remain unwavering in your love and commitment to God. The indication that the end times are here should only inspire us to be vigilant and zealous about sharing the message of the gospel with everyone around us, without reservation. Now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for revealing to us that it's your will for the gospel to reach the farthest corners of the earth. We seek the grace to boldly carry the gospel to those who have not heard it yet. We pray that their hearts will open to the gospel in Jesus' name. Loving Father, we lift up those who have not yet surrendered their hearts to you, asking that the light of the gospel will shine into their hearts in Jesus' name. May they see the light of the gospel, and may your power save their souls in Jesus' name. We also pray for every missionary, evangelist, and individual sharing the gospel with the lost, that you will strengthen them granting them courage and boldness in Jesus' name. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.